So today we're going to go over a quick example of how to use the virtual programming lab from the student perspective. This is my preview course on Moodle. I'll scroll down to the Hello World test in Python for uh, VPL. It's uh, a tutorial that I got from Smith College in the US. I'm currently logged in as a student and I will click on the assignment right here. The idea is to have to print to the screen hello world with an exclamation mark. So um, one way to do it is to download a template file and then to write it and then to upload that file. I can also use the editor tab right here and do it. So here is an editor on the screen. I'm going to do print say printf, so something from C. It shouldn't work. Let's see if it'll work though. Um, hello world, two exclamation marks like that. I'm gonna put a semicolon, so I'm mixing up C and Python. I'm gonna see if my Python editor will accept it. So I'm gonna save it, so it saves it. And now I'm ready to try it out. So I'm gonna run it, not for assessment or evaluation. Up comes a console. And it gives me this error that shows me, well, it didn't know what printf was. Okay. So next up, I'm going to try and evaluate it. And over here, we can see that I did one test on it. It's testing to see if Hello World showed up on the screen and it did not pass. So clearly I got that wrong. So let's try this instead. So print, oh, and print it's nice and color coded. I'm going to do hello world. Let's just do hello exclamation marks like that. So I'm going to run it as a Python program with proper Python syntax. We run and it shows me that at the console, hello shows up like that. So I have a Python program that compiled. Now I'm going to try and evaluate it. And I believe I've done this five, six times now. I'm going to click on this to evaluate. Oh, it looks like this is the sixth evaluation that I've done. I go over here to take a look and it says incorrect program input. The program output was hello. So the expected output was hello world. So that's what the test is supposed to be looking for. So it says I have one test that was run and zero passed. Let's do hello world properly this time like that. I hit save. I run it, yep, it shows up right there, but that hasn't been assessed yet. I'm going to now do the seventh assessment. And there it says, one test run, one test passed. I'll put a little comment to my instructor and I'll say, wow, it worked like that. Okay, and there we have it.